started and until now I still listen to it. Hi everyone, it's Elise and welcome back to my channel. So I just woke up, obviously, <laughs> based on my voice and my puppy face. Yeah, um, I just woke up. Anyway, today I will be doing a get to know me plus mukbang. So basically, I'll be answering questions from Instagram since I um, posted a story last time and I asked you guys to um, send me some questions that you want to know about me. So now I will be answering those while eating. Obviously, it's my first meal of the day and it's Jollibee! So I have here peach mango pie, fries, cheeseburger, horse drinks, chicken joy, the chicken joy spicy one, and burger steak with burger steak and uh, burger steak. Okay. And jolly spaghetti. These are all the food I'm gonna eat today. So yeah, let's go. So if you want to, so if you want to know more things about me, just keep on watching. So yeah, let's start. Um, that I wanna eat first. I don't know how to pronounce her name right. Um, it's Z M N T H J F. So I think it's feel like I feel like it's Zamantha or something. But pet peeves. So pet peeves. My pet peeves would be. I really hate it when someone is tapping my shoulder like repeatedly to get my to get my attention. Ayoko nun. Like I just don't like it. I get irritated most of the time. I just find it annoying when someone is I know, tapping my shoulder or like tapping any part of my body just to call my attention. Like you could just say my name. Hello. Another pet peeve I have um, I don't like it when someone pulls my hair or like plays with my hair. I don't know, I just don't like I just don't like it when someone is playing with my hair. Yeah, those are some of my pet peeves. I have like a lot, but you know, like worst one. So next question, um, it's from Risiella. One thing that people always misunderstand about you. Mataray ako. Hindi ako mataray. Promise. People always say na kala nila I'm a snobbish person. Mataray na suplada. No, it's not true. But I, I may look like a uh, matare girl, but I'm not. Like, I'm not try. If you don't know me, maybe first impression. But I'm really not like that in person. So, Next one is What are your insecurities and how do you handle them? It's from Yel. Hi, Yel. I have like a lot of insecurities. Physical, of course, I Tapos, um, actually more on physical ako. Like, I'm insecure with my nose, forehead, ano pa ba? with my body. And, like, I don't have the perfect body. And, wala namang perfect body. But how do I handle it? I know it's not easy to like, tell someone like, to just shrug it off. But that's usually what I really do. Mm -hmm. We all deal with our own insecurities in life. And the best thing you could do is not let it get into you. Um, yeah, you have it. You have insecurities. Like all people have insecurities. It's just that don't let it get into your system. Don't let it affect you, like your whole being. Not just because you're insecure about this certain part of your body or like this certain thing. You're gonna let it eat you up, which can lead you to like having low self-esteem. You know. So what I usually do is I just shrug it off and then I just I just think that maybe lahat ng tao deals with their own insecurities in life. So yeah. Okay, I'm back. My camera died. Okay. 
Okay, so next question is how do you react to mean or hate comments towards you? Um I just ignore it. <laughs> Sometimes of course there are times that you can just avoid it like mabubasa at mabubasa mo sila. Makikita mo sila. But all I do is just ignore it. Um, hindi ko na pinapatulan because they're not worth my attention and I don't have that amount of time na kailangan na pwede kong i-allot for them. So yeah, my Time is limited. <laughs> In that, pero they're not they're not worth your time and attention. So basically, just ignore them. I don't know if you know naman na, um, what they're saying is not true, or you don't have to defend yourself. You don't you don't have to explain yourself anymore. So yeah. Next one is your dream date. My dream date would be an amusement park date. I'm a huge fan of amusement parks. I like riding extreme rides and you know having fun at the amusement park it just gets me all the time because um, I just like ano, parang the amusement park but I grew up going to Enchanted Kingdom palagi. and then when I when I was able to go to Disneyland before when I was a kid super saya like in Japan so yeah amusement park date so, so like if I enjoyed my time there with my family Paano pa kung significant are they or like the love of your life, yung kasawa mo, di ba? That would be so much better. Okay, so next one. Are you in a relationship? By Wallflower14 underscore. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not and I haven't been into a relationship before. Single. Still single right now. Next one is from Leah.nchlx. Who's your favorite YouTuber? Jessica Wu. I super love Jessica Wu. Um, she's my inspiration with my YouTube videos. So yeah. Next is from Moira. That's C. Turn offs in a friendship for you. My turn offs in a friendship would be when they treat you as a competition. When they see you as someone they need to compete with. I just don't get the point of being like that. I mean. Why would you see your friend as a competition, as a threat to you, right? That but you should be supportive of each other. You don't have to you don't have to measure or think who's better or like who's doing better or sino mas angat, sino gato. It doesn't work that way. That but sabay ka yung angat. Don't like that, diba? So yeah, that would be one of my turn offs. And when they can defend you in such situations where your name has to be defended or needs to be defended. Turn off sa kanya. Yung parang, they won't defend you for the sake of appealing nice to others or like parang makabibe niya kung sino man yung kasama niya. Next question. From It's Ella Ma Mail. Are your parents strict? Yes. When I say yes, yes. Like, Mommy, Daddy, mahal ko kayo, pero strict talaga kayo, promise. Like, they're really strict. Like, anyway, yeah. Next one is from Breezy Carol. Your ideal man. My ideal man. But siguro ideal man, pero kasi hindi naman nasusunod ang ideal man when you like enter a relationship or something. Or like, pag nahulog ka, wala nang ideal idea. Hindi ba? Pag tinamahan ka, tinamahan ka. But basically, if you're gonna ask me what's my ideal man, so, someone na mapute, mapute, maybe ranging from mapute to mestis, uh, mapute to moreno, still average skin, parang ganun, pero okay na mapute. Pwede yung chinito or like almond eyes, uh, has a nice smile and dimples! Super love dimples. Yeah, and has a nice fashion sense, ganun. Tapos, um, is respectful, uh, God-fearing, family-oriented, has like a sense of humor, of course. Very understanding and caring. Matangkad, of course. Yeah, pwede na ba yun? Ideal man? Pwede na ba yun? Next is, um, from Second Dump Account, what's your love language, Ate? Personally, I just found out that my love language is gift-giving. Gift giving, yeah. Gift giving and physical touch. Pero I'm more on the gift giving side. I feel like kasi, I'm not really a materialistic person. Ha, pero, wala lang. Giving gifts is something I do to express 
I feel things. Sometimes when I'm proud, when I'm feeling proud, I give a gift to a certain person. When I'm happy, um, I give them gifts. Hang on. When I want them to cheer up, I give them gifts. Yeah, gift giving. Also, I'm the type of person na ano. I am more than willing to spend like a lot of money on a certain person than to spend it on me. Para I feel guilty pa na sa akin ko ginastos na parang yeah. If you know what I'm saying. Next one is from C H X X Free. What's that one song you went you won't get tired of listening to? Mm, Lie to Me by Fern. Super love that song. Like I've been listening to it ever since pandemic started, and until now. I still listen to it. It still hits me, you know. Next is from Jade Leonard. What do people usually call you or what are your nicknames? Hey, hey, hi Atelis. Hello, Jade. Okay, backstory. Um, when I was a kid, diba, you always go in front to like introduce yourself, say your name, age, what do you want to be when you grow up, diba, nang bata kayo, ganun. Whenever I go to the point that I'm, you're gonna say your nickname, I always tell them, wala po akong nickname eh. Kasi my name is too short. Please, ano nang makukuha mong nickname? Diba? Please, eh, Liz pa kala ng mommy ko. So I don't like it when people call me Liz. Ngayon, when the pandemic started, um, I met some people who started calling me Ellie. You guys know who you are. Tinawag nila akong Ellie because they just feel like it. That, that they want to call me Ellie. So some of them, um, actually most of them are my internet friends. So they started calling me Ellie. So apparently, I got it. Wow, like people call me Ellie. Like they're, it's nice for that to hear that like, Ellie is called by me. They gave me a nickname, which is Ellie. So now I can finally say I have a nickname, which is Ellie. Yeah. So basically, that's what people call me nowadays. Now even my in real life friends, like my friends go like my um, my 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 friends from like my best friend, you know, they also call me Elina. You know? So yeah, that I don't know, it just feels nice. Next question is from Jade Jaden XQR. Do you like being called an influencer? Honestly, no. <laughs> Contract language based, maybe yes. Pero people just call me plainly that term. I don't like it. Anyway, next question is from Alba Enya. Do you mind someone's political views before dating them? Of course. Um, especially when his principles aren't aligned to mine. Um, it greatly affects me. So yeah. Anyway, next one is from Jenny underscore IGRR. What do you do to kill time? I basically play... <laughs> and I also play... Yes, I play those games <laughs> whenever I'm bored or whatever. But I also watch my Binomo app. Basically, if you're not familiar with Binomo, Binomo is an online trading platform. It's great for users who wants to earn additional income and earn extra, you know? I just want to tell you guys that Binomo is an easy-to-use interface because all you have to do is to watch if the market goes up and down and open a deal based on your expectations or what you're trying to expect from the trading industry. So, yeah. And if you're wondering, yes, Binomo can be downloaded from the App Store or the Google Play Store if you want to try it out. So, I just want to show you guys an example of a successful trade using my account. So, just like what I said earlier, all you have to do is do, to watch if the market goes up or down and then you gotta you have to like open a deal based on your expectations. So, basically right now I have here my investment which is like a dollar. If my forecast is right or if my guess is right now buying the investment will go up or it will go down, I will earn 1.82 dollars. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna vote for up which is this one. And I got it right, so basically I put up, my forecast is up and I got it right. So basically my investment jumped from $1 to $1.82 and yeah, 
that's how it works. So if you register using my link, you will be receiving a thousand dollars or fifty thousand pesos on your demo account, which you can use to practice before starting um, your personal trading account. Now, if you are confident enough, na para mag start na mag trade, you can start your official deal with a value of not less than five hundred pesos or ten dollars. And here's the catch. So if you use my code, which I will be putting there, your investment will be doubled. So basically, yung 500 pesos mo, it can be 1,000 pesos using my code. And my code is available for a limited time only. So what are you waiting for? If you want to start trading now, you can use my code. Okay, so just a little disclaimer, guys. Um, trading involves taking a risk. So basically, you can lose the capital if you make a wrong forecast. So it's very important to analyze the market first and enter a transaction based on strategy and not just you casually like thinking it's gonna go up or it's gonna go down. Next up is the withdrawals of your money from your investment. It's very easy. And Binoma has so many ways for you to withdraw your investment. So after withdrawal, it can be used for 24 hours within 24 hours without deducting any commission from the platform. And of course, since we're talking about trading and investments here, Binomo is only available for 18, 18 years old above. So it can't be available for minors since it involves money and, you know, trading. Anyway, to proceed with the next question, what did quarantine do to you from Diane and Orti? Quarantine did a lot of things to me. First of all, I realized that it's okay to have not so many friends. As long as there are people that constantly checks up on you, kahit isa lang yan or dalawa, it's perfectly fine. And I also uh, learned how to... Well, I feel like I could say that I kind of matured during quarantine because, of course, it made me rethink my life decisions, my life choices, and somehow made me reflect on the things I've did in the past. Next up is from Baxal Mika. Who's your fashion inspiration? Pinterest is the key. Next one is, what's your mantra in life? Anyway, hi Elise, I love you. I love you too, Kaya Rio, Jane. My mantra, mantra in life. Never regret. Yeah, that's my mantra in life. Because I feel like you do things because something inside you pushed you to do it. You're not supposed to regret the things you do kasi, or you did because I feel like you did that for it to serve as a lesson sometimes when you feel like it's a mistake or whatever. At least, diba, you learned the lesson from it. It's really outside. Next is, what's your height? Para ang tangkad mo kasi. Six footer. <laughs> it's raining. I'm 5'5". Five five. But yeah, since it's raining, na, I'm gonna wrap this up here. Um, maybe I'll be answering more questions in the near future if I do a Q&A again. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Kahit hindi ko pa nauubos yung food ko, don't worry, ubusin ko naman siya later. I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below video suggestions you want me to do. Bye.